When it comes to report of findings, there's a mistake I want to save you from making. You see, the mistake a lot of docs are doing, it's kind of a carryover from the 1980s, is group reports. Now, it's not so much that I have an issue with this, but a lot of people in the audience will have an issue with this because the words that are really pushing and driving sales is custom, unique, personalized. And when you're doing a group report, part of it is it's a standardized message for everyone. This is what everyone needs and this is what everyone does. And the truth is what people will pay extra for where you can drive a higher value and even increase your fees is if you're driving value through how you set up your care plans. So the answer would be doing individual reports. Now, sometimes the pushback is, well, I don't have the time to do that. You see, we make our report of findings under 12 minutes if you know how to gather value in the day one and through the console. So our workshop is the elements of closing. We teach you how to drive value in the day one so that in the report of findings, it's short on time, but it's personalized. It's unique. Who wants to be in a crowd of people and say, one size fits all? That sounds like Big Pharma's idea for health. One size fits all. And quite honestly, it's a failing model. So if you want to do things that are personalized, unique, individual, you can actually charge a higher cash rate for your care, break away from the insurance model. And maybe more importantly, is the scheduling. You see a big problem with the nights that people do these group reports is let's say it's a Tuesday night, you do your group reports. Well, what happens if you have a Wednesday new patient and they've got to wait six days to come in to do the report of findings? It's awful. Number one, the person probably has pain, doesn't feel like they're being listened to. And number two, it's a universal rule that time kills all deals. So if they have to wait six days, that time, six days, until they do the report of findings is killing your signup rates. And then as a reaction, chiropractors drop their fee. So look, I know I've shared a lot in two minutes. If you want to fix these things from stem to stern and really get this corrected in your practice, then just come to one workshop. It's two days. You have to do it live to really understand it. But it's called the elements of closing because it's a value fat day one that allows us to go skinny on time in the day two. You see, unfortunately, a lot of docs speed through the day one process and then they drag out a 45 minute report of findings. At that point, you don't have a patient, you've got a prisoner. So listen, there's a way to drive value. You can do this in a simplistic format where the fees go higher because there's so much more value. Join us for the Elements of Closing Workshop in 2022. We're gonna start the year with one East, one West. So we're gonna do one workshop in Atlanta, one in Vegas, and then I'm coaching lacrosse. So I'm gonna take a hiatus for a couple months. If you wanna change your systems, do it right away. January, February, we'll see you there. And there's way more than that because in the first hour, I'll go through about 12 mistakes chiropractors make. That was just one of them. You're gonna love the workshop. It's hands-on, it's all there, total transparency, the elements of closing. Let's make next year your best year ever. I've been able to find freedom, right? That's been huge for me and my family. Uh, before our relationships were getting a little on edge, me and my wife, and then it bled into my kids. Um, but since joining us, our profits have gone up 119%, uh, which has been huge for us, huge for our family. We've been able to get that freedom. We've been able to spend more time with our kids. Uh, practice has become a joy um, instead of dreading going in, working hard for a little bit of money. Uh, we've been able to boost uh, those profits in the office, which then helps us be able to pay off debts. We've been, we were told that we had to go on a seven year um, time frame of paying off our debts. Now we're gonna be able to pay it off within a year. Uh, so that has been one of our biggest goals. That's been huge for us.